hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video is actually an unplanned one i was craving mashed potatoes with um, beef sauce and i made it for lunch and i said i might as well film it for my youtube since i've had a lot of people ask me how i make my creamy mashed potatoes so let's get right into the video please don't forget to subscribe <music> that beef sauce so there's beef it was already diced when i got it from the grocery shop there's corn flour and then there's a mixture of spices like i made at home so this is like a combination of basil bay leaves rosemary sage thyme and parsley and i have ginger puree garlic puree sunflower oil and salt so we'll move ahead and then wash our beef i wash it with hot water and get everything nicely done so i put in just like two squeezes of ginger and of garlic as i said earlier the beef was already diced when i got it so if you are making shredded beef sauce you can get like the full beef and then shred it into the shapes that you love that is like tiny tiny pieces so then as i said your ginger goes in the garlic and then a pinch of salt now I put a teaspoon of my spices, like the mixture of the spices that I mentioned into it. I mix all of them up and set aside. We now have our carrot, onions and green pepper neatly done. So as I said earlier, if you want to shred your beef, you can actually shred it in the shape of the carrot as seen earlier. So you are now going to saute our vegetables. I said saute, not fry please. So you are going to keep it under very, very, very low heat and just allow it to saute. We are doing this for about three to four minutes because we wouldn't want to overcook our vegetables and then lose the nutrients that it's going to give us. So moving ahead, we add our seasoning just to give it a little taste. After three minutes, we dish out all the vegetables and set it aside. Moving on, we are now going to brown our meat or our beef. Some people call it steaming, but here we are going to add a little amount of oil and then put our beef right in there and get it covered here you would want to make sure that you really cook the beef very 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 well to avoid the beef having any foul smell accompanying it Always I add powdered pepper to my beef because I love my beef extra spice. This is completely optional guys. We are now going ahead to dilute our corn flour. Here you should know that the amount of corn flour you use is totally up to you. If you use more, your sauce will just like thicken up more. If you use less, you get a lighter sauce. I love my sauce very thick with not much liquid running through it. So I add more of the corn flour. As you can see, our sauce is thickening up. At this point, I will decide to add more water and a little bit of the cornstarch and cover it up to the brim just to get more of the liquid. But as I said earlier, I don't want it like that. So I add my vegetables and then we go in. Just like leave it to simmer for a few minutes, three to four minutes. And now our beef sauce is ready, guys. Let's move on to our mashed potatoes so for our mashed potatoes we have our potatoes just a few we have milk you can decide to use cream we have table salt and butter next all we have to do is just peel our potatoes peel 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 
after peeling all we have to do is just dice them that's like cutting them into cubes because we are going to mash it so cutting them into cubes will make it easier putting them in water whilst you cut them also prevents them from browning so after this just like wash your potatoes very well make sure you wash them very well because it might be dirt coming from you peeling and then now you bring to boil you add a little bit of salt if you are adding salted butter please don't add salt because it will end up being salty if you are adding on salted butter you add your salt and just cover it now that our potatoes are ready you take it and then drain the water bring it back and add our butter you really need to make sure that you add the butter whilst it's hot so that everything just makes up uniformly so you are now mashing our potatoes with the butter once again you need to make sure that you mix or mash them very well so that you don't get your potatoes to be very very lumpy We now go in to add our milk. As I said, some people decide to add cream and it's totally up to you. Also, the amount that you add is totally dependent on you because even if you add more, your mash will just harden up after a while. So I just add the milk to my satisfaction. You also want to make sure that you add everything up uniformly. Now we leave our mash to settle for about 30 seconds to 1 minute. Look at all that creamy mash guys. Our mashed potato is ready. Let us now serve it with our beef sauce. And here we go our mashed potatoes and beef sauce is ready. Look at how delectable that looks guys. So now you can enjoy this in the comfort of your home. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video. Bye guys.